think find a solution that we don't depend on China. Yes, our lithium batteries. Very, very soon, very soon. Probably you may be knowing that we found a lithium reserves in Jammu and Kashmir. Mm -hmm. A surprising uh, thing is yesterday, just yesterday, uh, one of our investors, being Electra Green Tech, is a public listed company. One of our investors uh, who had invested uh, in our company uh, almost for the past four years is uh, with us. Yesterday, he came to us and he was inquiring about the future of the organization, how the business is going, uh, what are the developments that are uh, happening in the industry. So during that time, I was telling him that uh, the battery prices in coming two, three years time, battery prices would uh, uh, decline. Uh, he started saying that uh, how they get uh, decreased. I told him that we found the reserves. Uh, we have the reserves in India. And Jammu and Kashmir. He told me that, uh, yeah, I read the article a uh, couple of months back, but it probably may take another uh, decade to explore that. I said, probably you may not be knowing uh, the fact, gentlemen. The government of India has started processing for exploration of lithium reserves which are found in Jammu and Kashmir. Very soon we are going to get the notification from government of India inviting the various. Uh, uh, infra companies to explore the lithium reserves. Not only that, the other thing what government of India is initiating is even the refinery which is required for uh, this lithium ion, lithium is also being established. I mean, the inquiries are uh, the expression of interest are being asked for the from the industry to establish the refineries. So that way we are progressing. And very soon, probably establish the battery manufacturing facility in India. And uh, uh, to accelerate this, uh, since we have our own resource in India, so the battery prices, number one, uh, to your uh, answer to your question, we are no more dependent on China post three years. Mm -hmm. Number three, num uh, the prices what today we are uh, investing on battery, 50% uh, of it, probably 50% may get reduced with which uh, it will be a complete probably you may not see any of the um, fossil fuel vehicles on board once this gets once the cost comes down because one of the aspects that you said is that the capex is quite high correct and as a state or a or a metropolitan MCD like Delhi or Mumbai or Kanpur or any of these places how can they move to an e-bus platform how can the state road transport services start plying on the e-buses? See, uh, uh, as Electra Green Tech, uh, um, our buses are being operated in almost uh, 24 cities across uh, uh, India. So, the government of India has, uh, 2018, they have given a program, uh, namely uh, FIM, uh, the other panel speaker was mentioning about yes. this. Under this FAME program, Government of India in the, two th in the year 2018, we were given 1 crore subsidy per bus. Today, uh, in FAME 2, the subsidy got reduced to 50 lakhs. And uh, now, even without subsidy, uh, uh, the concessionaires, probably I may, I may have to just a little deviate from the discussion. I shall have to explain about the modus of apprendi, how this business uh, uh, functions. The uh, government, uh, the, uh, the model, the business model is unlike earlier days, procuring the asset, um, uh, asset is no more there in the system. So, the, so you uh, let's just simplify this that you no longer have to sell buses to somebody. Exactly. You we will just not be selling the buses. So they will tell you that we need 400 buses or say we need 20 buses or 30 buses. You will go ahead and say that, listen, for every, you are explaining this to me, so I'm just quickly saying that because of paucity of time. So then the state will give you a certain amount of revenue. Correct. But the running, that is driving, maintenance, charge and plying it, is you. Owning the bus also. Owning the bus, the bus ownership also remains. Yes. Yes, sir. With procuring the service, unlike procurement of assets. So you're, you're making it a service. So you're, yes. you're not saying that I'm a bus manufacturer, you no, buy no. buses from me and then I forget about it. You're saying I'm going to give you the service of an e-bus. Exactly. The Niti Aayog, Niti Aayog has given a recommendation to all the state transport units not to procure the assets. 
rather to procure the services. So but, we will be. But Venkat Garu, you are making money. Are you making money? Are you making money? Is, is this a profitable cost. business? <laughs> See, because three bus manufacturers cannot service the all of the country. So if there are potential and entrepreneurs are saying, is this a profitable business? Is it a profitable business? Are you making money? See, it is a, a profitable business provided uh, you have to be in the industry for a long time.